Recently, I picked up a Skyscan desktop antenna from Moonraker. It's primarily an indoor antenna and covers a massive chunk of spectrum. So, naturally, I've been curious to see the sort of performance from an antenna of this nature. Now, they're quite a technical antenna when you get into the detail, and I'll discuss everything you need to know as we go through. The Skyscan is reminiscent of the much larger Discone antenna and is built in the same way. It's actually a variant of the biconical antenna with one of the cones replaced by a disc. However, the concept is the same and disc and cone is where the name Discone comes from. The frequency range is 25 MHz to 2 GHz, so it's great to use with both a scanning receiver or better still an SDR. This antenna is omnidirectional and vertically polarised with a gain comparable to that of a dipole. It has a magnetic base so it can be put on the roof of a car for portable use, but of course you can't drive with the antenna mounted on a car. Now, one misconception is that you need to mount this antenna on a metal plate to form a ground plane. This isn't entirely true. The clue is in the name, desktop antenna, and most people won't have a metal desk. These eight radials form the ground plane for the four whips on the top, but I'll come to that later. The antenna is 70 centimeters tall and comes with four meters of RG58 coax terminated with a BNC plug. It comes in component form, but only takes a couple of minutes to put together. Firstly, the main antenna core screws onto the magnetic base. Then there are eight radials which screw into holes at an angle around the cone section and be sure to screw them at the right angle to avoid damaging the thread on the radial or the cone. Next, the top disc section sits on and bolts into place. This top section has four whip antennas on the top which can be easily removed with grub screws. The four whip antennas on the top increase receive capability below 300 MHz and also improve the reception a little bit at higher frequencies. The eight radials pointing down also behave, as I said, as a ground plane for the four whip antennas. And finally, four more rubber coated helicals screw into place around the disc section, and that is really all there is to it. The antenna seems really well made, quite weighty, and built solidly. Now, there's quite a few applications for an antenna such as this. You can put it on your desktop or windowsill, it can be taken outside for portable use, or you can even put it in the loft. It isn't built for outdoor use on a permanent basis, but as I said earlier, it will sit on a stationary car. Now, this antenna covers 25 megahertz to 2 gigahertz, and antennas like this and full-size discones are a jack of all trade, master of none. Now, this isn't a bad point at all. You can't realistically have optimum resonance on every band within its coverage. This applies to radio scanners too, a wideband radio scanner such as this, which has coverage from 0.5 MHz to 2 GHz, won't be as effective as a band-specific radio. In fact, the manufacturers tell you this. So, I took my antenna to my local high spot, mounted it on the car, and used a portable SDR receiver to make some recordings across the bands. Now, of course, we're not blessed with constant activity on all bands, so I made these recordings over numerous visits. It's in your microphone, in your Fidelta microphone. We don't want no worms by the frequency. This is the UK frequency. All right, I shall catch you all in a bit, and you, Steve. I'll uh, catch you all in a bit. Right, um, uh, I'm going to get a drink, just tidy up in here. Yeah, Roger, Dodger. Roger, Dave. Uh, catch you in a bit. Uh, catch you later, uh, Paul. Bottom and uh, so these heat sinks at night, uh, Mike's give me uh, on. But the uh, trouble is, I can't fit the heat sinks on the bottom of the case where the device is uh, screwed to bottom of the die-cast box. It's, it's the same size as a microwave module's transverter. And the box just
just get. Zero Tango. Easy 142, speed 160, that's all great to 24 miles. 160, great to 24 miles, easy 142, and that's localised or established. Tell the tower, 119, decimal 405, goodbye. I say again, easy 142. Tower, 119, decimal 405. 119, easy 142, bye bye. Zero Tango, speed 180, that's all great to. Thank you, Air Grace, Air Runner, 760, Tango. So, did you want to hold the door to the phone there? 736, Air Summit Sound, 118, decimal 630. Entry Summit's on the air, special call for 20 years of the Summit's on the air awards programme. Uh, QRZ. Uh, Mike 7, Bravo Italy Alpha Portable, presumably on Shining Tour. Uh, Golf Bravo 20 Celta on the cloud, 5 and 9. Yeah, thanks for that, Tom. Golf Bravo 20 Celta, this is Mike 7, Bravo India Alpha Portable. Yeah, you got it right, Golf Sierra Papa 004. And you're also obviously a 5 9, Tom. 5 9, back to you. 5 decimal 2. Uh, there's 14 on board, plus 2. Uh, there's no defects reported, and I believe it's in Royal Bird with a swing and back up. Arklow view, uh, tying up in Ellesmere Port, nothing else to bother us. And it's two tugs all the way then, Paul, yeah? No, it's just two tugs to swing instead. The feeling's on me, Ed. Anyway, listen, I'll let you carry on. I'll try and get under a bit of shelter. Yeah, you get out to the rain. You don't want to get wet through and catch a whatever. A bit tawny. Yeah, uh, 7-3, Michael, I'll probably gone, mate, mate, we're going up Shreesley and see that, but, uh, have a go. And then stick the lid back on, and then there you've got, there you've got your, your dummy load, mate. Roger, Roger, that's as easy as it is to make. Uh, Roger, you got it. Yeah, Tom, I'll just get you under a bit of shelter, mate, I'll try and get under a bit of shelter. Yeah, I'll try and get Back at home on the desk in the shack, the antenna performed well and I was receiving stronger stations down on the CB, Civil Airband, 2m and 70cm frequencies. So all in all a great antenna, especially for those who can't mount a permanent solution or just want something portable. It's easy enough to take apart and store away and small enough that it doesn't get in the way. And if you'd like to take a closer look at the antenna or pick one up, I'll put the Moonraker link in the description below.